Hello again, this is S.S. Wilson. Now, I said way back in episode number three that the graboid hump was one of our most reliable special effects. And after I finished that one, I found these much better stills of it. It was literally nothing more than a buoy, like you tie a boat up to, and it was pulled back and forth in a trench by cables and pulleys. The trench had this thin rubber roof that allowed us to pull the buoy back and forth without dirt pouring in. Here, they're just about set up for that opening sequence, putting boards on one by one. I was happy to find these still photos because there's no video of the Chang's boardwalk hump. That's the dolly track going in for that cool opening shot. But there's a lot of video of two other graboid humps. In this episode, I'm actually covering the last one in the movie, where the graboid chases Val, Earl, and Rhonda to the edge of the cliff. This is nominally the brink. Of course, the cliff was another special effect, which I covered in episode number 11, so you don't see it back there where the production vehicles are parked. Before I get to the hump, here are two little clips that aren't great. Quiet, please. Quiet, please. Roll sound. But people keep telling me they'd rather see more than less, so I'm leaving them in. It's a main unit take of the cast running for the cliff. Here it is from even further away. This time the camera is on one of those little ATVs we had called a Gator. For various reasons, they ended up shooting the run many times, and we were shooting out of order, so we shot the bulldozer scenes after this. Which is why, back in episode 10, you saw Finn Carter, totally exhausted, literally being carried over to the bulldozer location, only partly as a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Later, we move back to the hump location and set up for the shot of it racing toward Val. You can see that big long trench is now fully dressed in and completely hidden. Here's the pickup truck that pulled the hump that day. They set up their lines and pulleys so that we could quickly pull the buoy in either direction while the truck only had to go in one direction. There's another funny detail about this shot. Because we had the whole cast out there for the bulldozer scenes, we actually did use them to be the very distant people out on the rock. There's our very expensive photo doubles, the real Reba and everybody else. <laughs> Here comes take one. Now, I have said that the dirt hump was one of our most reliable effects. And it was, but today it gave us one surprise. In case you didn't see exactly what happened there, I'm going to slow it down. We're going to take it back to number one. Looking at it now, I guess it's sort of obvious what happened. The whole thing went. Yeah, is, is, is there any way to avoid that? But on the day, it took a little discussion to figure it out. It looked like... It looked like the... The thing is, we're that having a problem with this right? area here. But it's ripped on this yeah. side. Let, let me explain the problem to you. It's as Martin said, the whole thing, after it got started, it looked like it, the whole thing rose up simply because it's building air yeah. uh, uh, from down there to here. It's compressing all the air that's in this tube to here and making it rise up yeah. and stay up down there. So we're going to have to cut a big opening here to exhaust. Now, if that camera's sitting there, it's going to boil shit up in front of it. I don't know if you'll like it. That's Larry Roberts, one of our most inventive and capable effects guys, saying we need to cut a hole to let trapped air out of the hump tunnel. Okay, rehook them. Go, go and tie the other line on. Before we could do that, we had to pull the hump back, and Larry's plan got implemented much more violently than he hoped. Whoa. Take it slow, boys. Don't go so fast. Come on. 
this this exhaust hole <laughs> is <even> building up. <laughs> is there going to be a lot of dust coming out of there? There'll be some. Yeah. Even though the hole was a little ragged, Where's the third they cleaned it up and we got ready for another take. And the team quickly devised a seal to keep dust from blasting out at the camera. Here we go. Here we go. This is for a cinema product. Much better, and with it working so well, Ron figures might as well do another take. Everybody hey, get out of the road, Jensen! Clear the road. What are we waiting I on? Know, we're just waiting, waiting for Jensen to get out of the damn road. Okay, here we go. And roll cameras. And fittingly, I think this is the take in the movie. Dusting! Action! Action! Stop! Yeah. <laughs> That's it for this one. I'll be back soon with the hump at Bert and Heather's house. One last thing. If you do like how Tremors is written, I encourage you to check out my other writing. My books, Tucker's Monster and Frady Cats. After all, if you buy enough of them, Hollywood might take notice and make those into movies. You can find them on Amazon. Anyway, thanks for watching The Lost Tapes.